Well, STEM education is one of the critical issues um, facing the country right now. We do not have enough scientists or engineers um, ready to solve the problems that we face as a planet. And so it's really important for us that we get more kids involved and interested in STEM. And part of doing that is to start to rethink about how we teach um, science and mathematics. So rather than having them as siloed content where you might take chemistry in ninth grade and take algebra in a different classroom and there's no connections between those disciplines, um, we really need to start thinking about focusing our teaching in K-12 schools and also college classrooms around issues. So for example, if you were to think about climate change, to understand climate change, you need to understand chemistry, you need to understand mathematics, you need to understand weather, you need to understand um, erosion and how excessive precipitation might impact the, the surface of the earth, things like that. So, so real issues that face us in the 21st century are not things you can find in Chapter 3 of the Algebra textbook. So as we think about STEM education, um, both across the world but particularly here in the US, we start to see some disparities in how, um, who goes into STEM, who um, has the highest achievement scores in STEM as we look at state test scores, those kinds of things. And there's definitely a disparity between minority students and white students in terms of how they perform. If you were to look into any college engineering classroom, you walk into an electrical engineering classroom and you're going to see predominantly white males. So one of the issues that we want to deal with and tackle in STEM education is how do we get more women, how do we get more minorities interested in careers in science and engineering, even if they're more on the periphery, that at least there's an engagement and an understanding and, and those possibilities as career options. Um, so a lot of the work that we do here in the STEM Center is to help to get kids be interested and excited about STEM and see the possibilities, see themselves as, as having a, a possible career path in STEM. Improving STEM education is a huge challenge, both for the state of Minnesota and the U.S. and, and frankly across the globe. Um, as we have to start thinking about how we change the way STEM is taught, it's going to mean a lot of changes in curriculum, what we teach, how we teach, and so those are the challenges that we're really trying to tackle in STEM right now as to thinking about how we can be responsive so all students have access to STEM and that students are learning about STEM from, an, uh, from a, a problem-solving base of understanding how they can use science in their everyday life to solve problems. And that really means that we need to put that forefront in how we teach rather than worrying about which topics in algebra we teach, we need to worry about getting kids to be critical thinkers and problem solving and understanding the role that STEM plays in the everyday world. So it really means a complete rethinking of how we go about teaching science and how we structure STEM education in our schools.